Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam Nikki and I welcome you all to this channel. Today in this video, I will be talking with you about one of the most advanced handwritten note taking application that ever being created for Microsoft Windows. Yes, you heard it right. I am not claiming it just like that. I will show you how powerful and advanced this application is. Actually, this application is being created or developed by Microsoft itself. And guys, I'm not talking about Microsoft OneNote. This application is brand new. And as of now, this application is in its developer beta preview. So if you also want to check out this application and want to download this application, then I will put the link in the description of this video so that you can download and use it. Let me just click on this windows icon and here is the application. The application is known as journal and let me just open it. And here is the interface and on the right hand side here you can see some of the prominent feature of this application. For example, if you want to select, you can select with a tap or if you want to create a heading, just you need to underline the text. You see guys how powerful this application is. If I talk about other feature, you can create a list pretty easily. You can also uh, flag items with the help of star. You can also select item with a lasso tool or just you need to draw a circle around with any ink to quickly select it. Also, even if you want to, you know, delete some text, you can simply cross the written text and it will got deleted. So let's just quickly see all these features one by one in this application. So I will be just opening this application again here and then I will just show you how this works. Okay. So let me just create a new journal. Now here we can give it a name. We can also choose the cover page color. So let's say I like this color, which look quite modern, the violet color. And from here we can choose any icon. If you want to write a text name, then you can type it here. Let's say you want to write it manually or with the pen, then you can choose this button. And then here you can write a name like this. Maybe I should type something nice here, like test book. Okay, so like this, we can type it. Now the main interface got opened and we are inside this journal that we have created. Here we have got a very minimalistic menu bar with a pen, highlighter, pencil and eraser tool. If you want to add or attach something, here we have got this plus icon. And from here we can, you know, capture picture. We can insert an image or even we can insert PDF. Now, let's say I want to add more page for that here. We need to tap or we need to click in case you are using pen tablet and you are using desktop. For example, in this case, you need to either tap if you are using touch screen system or you can make a click if you are using desktop or normal laptop without any touch input. Okay, so let's talk about more features or more functionality of this application. Here we have got these three dots. If we're going to click on it from here, we can change the page style. So we have got these three uh, spacing option of these rows. For example, if we select this tight option, it will make rows more denser. If we select regular, then we can see the spacing now increase. Let's say we want to choose the different variety. Then we have got these different, different uh, styles available. For example, let's say I want to go for graph paper. Then we can go for graph. Here you can see you do not need to even make a click. You just need to hover your mouse and you can see the preview. Similarly, here we have got this dotted paper. Then this is something like music paper style. I don't know this one, but maybe if this one works for you or is relevant to you, then you can choose this one as well. But the only con that I saw as of now is that we do not have option to select the size of the paper. For example, I don't want to have this one size. 
I may like to have A3 size paper or maybe B5 then we do not have the size available as of now but maybe in future it may change because this application right now is in public beta so we have got these uh, other options also available for example we can insert page at any place we can delete page we can even choose language of it because choosing correct language will actually help us to uh, do advanced AI tasks. Now let me just close this. And now here we have got further more option available. For example, we can go full screen. We can exit from full screen. Then here we have got display preferences available. For example, the page position, whether we want it left or right. So in this way, you know, we can decide the page position we can make device awake let's say you want dark color then you can go for night mode or dark mode so this is also available now let's go back and now we see further more option for example pen setting now if we see one note then uh, we are missing this feature let me just quickly show you the feature that i'm talking about for example here if i am writing with my pen here we can see despite the amount of pressure that I am exerting the pen write with same thickness while in case of this Microsoft general application here we can enable the pressure sensitivity as well as of now by default it is closed and we can see it also but if I go to setting and enable this pen pressure now you will see the difference let me just zoom it now we will able to see the difference okay so here we can see the more pressure i am exerting the thicker the line becomes in this way you know you can even write with pressure sensitivity which is amazing and previously was not available with OneNote. If you talk about furthermore option, you also have an option to enable pressure sensitivity in case of pencil. You can also enable this, this remember pen state, which help us to keep the last pen type, size, color use across sessions. Okay. So depending on your need, you can enable or disable it. If you want to do furthermore Windows pen setting, then you can click here and it will open the def default Windows options for pen and Windows Ink use. So let me just close it this one and the remaining options are very general. Now let's see some of its functionality that I was talking about, which makes this application one of the most advanced application for handwritten notes. For example, I want to delete this text. So simply what I will do, I will cross it like this and we have successfully deleted this text. Similarly, let's say I want to create some bullet point or want to mark something as special, then we can create this star. Okay, and then here I can type like this is awesome. In the same way, we can also create headings. Let's write heading and I want to define that this thing is heading. So I will just underline it and here we can see this one is a heading. If you want to select something, you just need to encircle that text around like this in this way you know you can select the text so this was some more pretty cool functionality available with microsoft general i hope that you found this video helpful if i talk about the limitation and cons of this software the biggest one as of now i found that it comes with only one paper size and the another shortcoming now it is very laggy here you can see how much lag this software have so these are some of two big concern that currently this application have but i believe because this application right now is in developer beta preview therefore will be fixed in upcoming version so that's all guys from my side in this video please do let us know about your thoughts on this software in comment down below and feel free to discuss with me and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye